In this app, we're only working in one screen, but we're going to do some basic math and we're going to use a few new controls. So I have a parking app, which will calculate parking charges. It's providing a hint here, asking for the number of hours. When you put in a number, you can choose which parking lot and hit calculate charges. Calculate charges, in this case, it's going to be simple math. It's going to take the number of hours times $1.50 and it will give us $9 here when it's six hours as a result. We have an image here, so it's a simple interface. Let's look at creating or adding the resources that we'll need to create this app. So inside the app folder, we're going to look at the resources folder. And in the drawable folder, I have an image parking meter.jpg. And I brought that in. I copied it, but you'll notice here it doesn't like hyphens. I didn't like the name, so I had to rename it to parking underscore meter dot jpeg. And that's spelled wrong, but I'm not going to change it because it's pointing that and it's working. Uh, so you want to check your spelling early in the process. And then I have values. You're going to want to put in strings. So let's look at the strings and what they are. We have the app name, which is parking. We have the button charge, which is calculate charges. That's the text that appears on the button. Let's actually bring this up next to it. We have the prompt, which is select lot, which would be for here. We have the number of hours, which is our hint here. We have our text title, which is parking charges. And then we have an, a string array, which is a new construct for us. And for the string array, which we use with our spinner, we have to do an item for each item that will appear on the spinner. You're going to need to add a spinner for the app that you create. And so you'll do that by adding a string array, opening and closing, and inside of it, you're going to need to have lot A, lot B, lot C, lot D, or in your case, you're going to be doing a tip percent. So those are the resources we need before we actually start putting together our interface. Let's look at our interface. So we're using a constraint layout, which means that each one of these I have selected the constraints on, which you can see here, and they're tied to the one directly above it or to the edge of the screen to make things stay in place. So my first item here is my text title, which is the parking charges, and you can see that also has an ID of text title. Then I have text hours, which is, he has the hint of the string of text hours, and it's of the number type. So when you're looking at text type, it's important that you use the number type if we're going to do math with it. Then I have this sort of drop down here. That's my spinner, and it's got a drop down group. You can see it's the array text group for the entries, and the spinner mode is in drop down. I have the button charge, which says calculate charges, and it is called BTN charge. I have the text result, which is right here. You can't really see it because I deleted the interior content from it. I set the text size to 24, and then I have the image view here, which I should have named, but since I never specifically address it, it's not really a big deal, but you should probably name that image parking or something appropriate like that. We're going to have to add Java to it. And so the Java file is inside your Java folder, inside the first folder, and it's your main activity.java. I did also change my styles here to base theme app compat. That makes it this darker theme. The themes, when you're in your activity main, You can find the different app themes and preview them here. This is a dark theme. And so we're working with the app compat theme. So let's look at the Java. Once you have everything put in here, you need to make calculate charges, um, take the variables that have put in above and display out the charges. So that will be in your main activity, activity Java. There is one potential hang up, there's two different possible 
decimal format imports. If you grab the wrong one, you will get an error. So you want to make sure that when you import for the decimal format, when we get to that point, it's java.text.decimal format, which should be the second one. So we have our public class, main activity extends app compat activity. We have our variables. I have a double cost per hour, $1.50. I have an int number of hours. I have a double total charges, and I have the string lot choice. We have our protected void on create, bundle saved instance, set content view, R layout, activity main. This stuff is in there by default. And this is where we start added, editing and adding code. So we have final, edit text hours, which means that it's a final variable. It's not going to change after we select it. Edit text, find view by ID, R ID text hours. So this is getting information from our text hours field and it's saving it into the variable hours, which will actually move into the um, int number of hours, but we're setting this up for hours where it's, we're getting that. We have our spinner group, which is pulling the text group. We have our button called charges, which is our button charge. And we have charges, which is our button that we instantiated. When we click on it, we're going to get a new on-click listener. So when somebody clicks it, what happens next is what's going to happen. Then we have our final text view result. This is going to be the result of our work. And so we're going to put it in our text result, which currently is invisible, but that's where our result will show up right here. This is where the text result is going to show up. And then we have our on-click view. So we're going to set number of hours, which is our variable, to integer parse int because everything comes in as a string. So we're getting the string text in the hours field and um, saving it to number of hours so we can actually use that as an integer. We're creating a decimal format of currency with the new decimal format, which is showing that if it got to be large enough, it would have a comma. It has the dollar sign. We have total charges equals cost per hour times number of hours. And we don't have to do anything to get the cost per hour because we set that right here. Then I have the lot choice, get the selected item from my drop down, And then I set the text to my result, which is in this final text view result. We're going to do result.setText. And we're concatenating a string here, cost for parking in. And then we're using our variables, lot choice for number of hours. So this is a pretty straightforward app. The app that you're going to write is going to be similar. You're going to have a spinner with the potential uh, percentage that you want to calculate for a tip and you'll put in the amount of the meal and it will give you the result of how much your tip would be based on the percentage that you choose. So that's your basic spinner activity for creating a simple interface and doing a little bit of simple math.